Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, first of all, I want to apologize for my lateness. Um, I actually saw all of this stuff when I woke up this morning at like 8am, but I really had to be somewhere, so I couldn't really record a video at that time. But anyways, we're here now, and uh, today we are going to be checking out the full Extreme Z Awakening details for the AGL LR Gohan and the int LR cell from the 300 million download celebration a few years ago, which was honestly one of the darkest periods in my entire Dokkan career after spending like, I think 6,000 stones without pulling a single copy of the AGL Gohan. And now I have him rainbow twice with like nine extra copies, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, with all that said, let's start with the Gohan first. Of course, we'll uh, start with his free easy A details so that we can compare them to the Extreme Z Awakening details, right? So before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Kamehameha Category Key plus 3, HP plus 130, Attack and Defense plus 170, or Super AGL Types Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%. 12 key super raises defense and causes colossal damage. 18 key super raises defense, causes mega colossal damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, key plus 1 plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% at the start of each turn, up to key plus 5 and attack and defense plus 70%. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, the leader seal uh, becomes Kamehameha, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 180% or super AGL type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. So a solid upgrade from before. It was 130 and then 170 for attack and defense. Now it's 180 across the board and then 130% uh, instead of 120% for super AGL. And then 12k super raises defense, causes colossal damage and lowers attack. So this part with the uh, attack lowering is new. And then the 18 key super raises defense, causes mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers attack. Once again, this greatly lowering attack is new for the Extreme Z Awakening. And then we have the EZA passive, which is attack and defense plus 150%, key plus 2, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn, key up to 8, and attack and defense up to 80%. Guards all attacks and high chance to launch an additional super attack when HP is 58% or more. High chance of performing a critical hit when there is an Android category enemy. So, uh, obviously, my favorite part of this passive is this right here. The guarding of all attacks combined with him getting a lot more defense on the passive and still, of course, stacking defense on the 12 and 18 key supers. This is going to make him very, very tanky. He just got so much better as a defender solely with this part right here, right? And on top of that, of course, he's going to be doing more damage. Um, you know, getting the additional super up to potentially three supers, right, with the hidden potential. So looking very good. Looking very, very good before the transformation into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, of course. Now, the question becomes... Are they going to change his awakening or active skill condition into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? Because as you guys might know, this guy is infamous for having one of, if not the worst, uh, awakening or active skill conditions in the entire game. Um, it's uh, awakens can be activated when HP is 58% or less with Android 16 on the team or when HP is 58% or less with an existing androids category ally or enemy starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only. And the main issue is it's very restrictive, right? It's very limiting. Um, a lot of times, I mean, for most of his teams, you're not going to be an uh, running Android 16 or any Android on your team, right? And of course, fighting an Android enemy is pretty rare as well, except for like specific events. So. Essentially, yeah, when you use this guy, you almost never saw this transformation, which was quite powerful, but it was just like never a thing that happened. So I'm kind of hoping that they do change this condition because 
it's pretty bad. It's really bad, in fact. And uh, we did see that with the AGL Blue Gogeta um, Extreme Z Awakening, they reduced the turn uh, restriction or the number of turns it took to transform by one, right? From five turns to four turns. So, um, yeah, I'm hopeful that they do adjust this as well. Right now, we don't have the details for that because they weren't revealed on Twitter, but fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. So that is the Super Saiyan Gohan. Now, popping over to the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, of course, same leader skill. And this is before the Extreme Z Awakening. 12 key, greatly raises defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage. 18 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage. And passive attack plus 20% and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional uh, key plus 1 per key sphere obtained. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when facing only one enemy. Launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies, plus an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack. And your team has Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. 12k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega cost of damage. And then 18k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega cost of damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And this passive is a novel, man, but it's very good, so just uh, sit tight. Okay, so starting with changes tech key spheres to AGL key spheres. For 4 turns from first appearance, that's good. Attack and defense plus 158%. Attack plus 20% and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained. So the crazy thing is, of course, they did improve this um, nuking aspect, right? But before, this guy didn't get any base boost, right? Before getting key spheres. He was just like getting this, you know, 20% attack and 7% defense. For every key sphere. Now you're getting 158% attack and defense, which is significant. That's a lot. On top of getting 20% attack and 10% defense for every key sphere obtained. Plus an additional key plus one per key sphere, key sphere obtained. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type. AGL and tech excluded. Two rainbow key spheres when facing only one enemy. Launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies. High chance of launching an additional super attack and high chance of uh, performing a critical hit when HP is 58% or above, and then plus an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack, and your team has Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn. And then launches an additional super attack if HP is 59% or more when launching an ultra super attack. So this guy can, in theory, I believe, launch up to four supers per turn. Um, because you get the initial super, and then you can get one more super from uh, this part right here, right? Uh, being below, or sorry, being above 58% HP, and then you can get another super from this part right here uh, when launching an ultra super attack, and then you can get another super from the hidden potential. So up to four supers in total, and uh, of course, just getting a ton of attack and defense with key spheres, being an orb changer, and a, no, both a AGL Orb Changer and a Rainbow Orb Changer ensures that this guy is almost always going to get 18 to 24 key supers, always going to be getting a lot of orbs, and just doing some crazy damage on top of doing some, or getting a lot of defense, so um, he's just like an absolute monster, man. This dude is stupidly stupid good with the Extreme Z Awakening. Um, they didn't hold back with this one, man. This one does not disappoint. I mean, he might very well be like a top five unit in the game right now. You know, I can't say for sure because, you know, it's it's initial impressions. So maybe I'm overhyping it. Maybe uh, it's like, uh, you know, rose colored glasses or whatever. But he looks amazing. <laughs> he looks amazing. And uh, that's the Gohan. So now let's move on to the cell because I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, we'll start with the cell perfect form, so before the transformation and uh, before the EZA, his leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga, key plus 4, HP and attack plus 150, defense plus 170, or extreme int, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, 12 key super, colossal damage and greatly lowers defense, 18 key super, greatly raises 
attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Uh, passive is attack and defense plus 80%, raises defense by up to 80%, the more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, plus an additional key plus one, and attack plus 20% per existing enemy. Evolve when conditions are met, and the evolution conditions are evolve when HP is 30% or less, which happens actually a little bit more often than you think, but it's still not the best condition, right? So if they can increase it to like 40%, that would actually make a big, big difference. 50% would be a dream come true, right? But I I'ma not be greedy, I'ma just say give us 40% or less and I'll be very, very happy. Uh, with the Extremes the Awakening, leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 180, or Extreme Int key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130. Wealth key super raises defense for 1 turn, it causes colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense. And then 18 key super greatly raises attack for 1 turn, it causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 120. Raises defense by up to 120%, the more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, plus an additional key plus 2, and attack plus 30% uh, per existing enemy, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, high chance of launching an additional super attack, and then it evolves when conditions are met. So I've been seeing a lot of people say that like the pre-transformation uh, form is like kind of bad, but... I don't think it's that bad at all, man. I mean, he was getting like, you know, 80% attack and defense before, and I was getting 120. He's getting up to 120% more defense with, uh, you know, more HP remaining, you know, the greater the defense boost. And then he's also getting uh, more key for every existing enemy and more attack, I believe, right? So it's, yeah, key plus 1 and 20% before, now it's key plus 2 and 30%. And on top of that, he's getting 50% more attack and defense when performing a super, and then also the high chance for additional super attack. So, I think that it's like, quite good. Obviously it's not as good as Gohan. Maybe maybe people are saying it's bad because it's like, not anywhere close to like, I mean, it, it's, it's definitely objectively worse than the Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan, before transforming to, into Super Saiyan Gohan 2. Or sorry, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, right? Um, so I kind of get it from that perspective. There's no question that Super Saiyan Gohan is better than Cell Perfect Form, but um, I don't think it's a bad easy A at all, right? Especially because it is easier to get the transformation into Perfect Cell compared to um, Super Saiyan Gohan transforming into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So maybe that's why they made Super Saiyan Gohan better than Cell Perfect Form, right? Before the transformations. That's my theory. We'll see what the conditions look like after the easy A's. They might very well stay the same though, right? Keep that in mind. Like, there's still a decent chance that they'll both have equally bad conditions. Um, okay, so, Cell, uh, after the transformation into Perfect Cell, before the easy A, of course, same leader skill, uh, Super Attack, 12 key, causes colossal damage, and massively lowers defense. 18 key Super causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. Um... Passive is fully recovers HP once only, key plus 4 and attack and defense plus 120%, attack and defense plus 20% when attacking with 4 or more key spheres obtained, uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with 6 or more key spheres obtained, and an additional attack plus 20% with 8 or more key spheres obtained. And then we have the active skill, which, uh, did I read the AGL Gohan active skill actually? I don't think I did. I think I missed it. Um, wait, doesn't this guy have an active skill? I swear he did, or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Didn't this guy always have an active skill? Okay, maybe not. That's weird. I swear he had an active skill. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> perfect cell. <laughs> active skill. Um, can be activated when facing only one enemy, starting from the third turn after evolution. And uh, it greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and massively lowers defense. So there you go. That is the uh, perfect cell before the EZ8. Now with the EZ8, this dude becomes quite insane. He becomes quite insane. Uh, 12k super greatly raises defense for one turn. It causes mega cloth of damage and massively lowers defense. 18k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. 
passive, fully recovers HP. Once only, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type other than int, uh, key spheres to rainbow key spheres, key plus 6, and attack and defense plus 180%, which helps a lot with the key issues he had before. Um, high chance of launching an additional super attack reduces damage received by 3% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%. One attacking with four or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%. When attacking with six or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%. When attacking with eight or more key spheres obtained. Keep in mind, he is a rainbow orb changer, so he is going to be getting a lot more rainbow or just key spheres in general on his rotation, right? Um, plus an additional attack plus 100% and high chance. Of performing a critical hit when activating the active skill or on key is 24 so this guy um, like I said he's gonna be hitting super super hard he's gonna be doing so much damage and on top of that uh, he's getting a lot of defense he should be pretty tanky especially with the damage reduction from key spheres if you get 10 key spheres that's 30% damage reduction on top of very high defense that right and then uh, yeah, dude, if you do a 24 key super, this 100% attack on top of everything is just going to make this guy, like, he's going to hit so hard. It's going to be dumb. He's going to do so, so much damage. So, um, yeah, that's the cell. That's the cell, like I said. He's very, very busted. Uh, both these guys, in my opinion, are top five units at the moment. Um, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe uh, I'm over hyping them maybe I'm overvaluing them but at the moment in my mind I think they're pretty easily top five units uh they really did not hold back with easy these easy A's um I can't really think of anything bad to say except for you know what was already there which is the transformation conditions right the active skill for Gohan and the you know evolution for uh Cell like you know they're they're not great like it, it, it takes a lot really to get their you know transformations but um if those get fixed then no question top five units if those don't get fixed maybe still top five units but just not as good as they could be but dude like these guys are crazy <laughs> these guys are absolutely crazy so um that's it that 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 is the breakdown guys let me know in the comments how you guys feel about them uh, what are your thoughts? How good do you think they are? Do you think I'm, you know, just being a little bit too excited calling them top five or am I, you know, on point with this one? Because uh, I think I think I'm right. I, I think they're really that good. So anyways, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.